I, I need to be more like Vincent. Good because you you know you give me way more sass than that on a daily basis. You need and to be way more like them. I need to be more like. Oh, Vincent. okay. So you're I'm trying to see me do these videos disrespect. by myself. I'm expecting. No, see, no, this right no, here. no. This right here. Y'all want me to do videos feel, by myself I, because I, he's tripping. He's I, feel tripping. Di I feel disrespected right now. Negative. Okay. I feel disrespected. Negative. You need. <laughs>
that have unique interests. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's cool that Jacob is into the 80s and neon and stuff. Okay. It doesn't mean you have to right. have that take over exactly. your life. Exactly. It doesn't mean your whole house has to be 80s themed. Exactly. But hey, that's cool, that's dope. He shows you some weird shades. Oh, like, right. take a picture, like. She can't, like, that's the problem. She can't even just relax, let loose, just chill. You know what I mean? Like, whether or not you liked it or not, I don't know, what, why am I saying whether or not you liked it? You signed up to marry somebody. So it is what it is, you signed up for this. So it's like, that's what he's into. You know, you just kind of deal with it and move forward. It doesn't have to take over your home. Home, I don't even think he's trying to do that. But at least he has some personality. He's he can just have some fun. You know what I mean? In life. Like, you just gotta laugh, have some fun. And like you said, everything don't have to just be so basic. He called her a Karen. Yes! And she, she is. is a Karen. She like, is a Karen yes, in training. He was so right about that. And I just loved it. Like, I think Jacob is funny. He's, He's funny. funny. I, I just, she is just... She's so boring and basic. Yes. That's all it is. Like... Yes. She is a Karen in training. She is, she, <laughs> what, is what is a Karen? I, I forget what the, uh, the 19 to 27 version of a Karen is, but she's that. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I don't know. It, it's unfortunate for Jacob. I don't think it's going to end up working out because. Yeah, I don't have any hope for that couple. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Yep, that's about it for them. Hmm. All right, so now Vincent and Brianna. Um, so they go to each other's place, and um, you know, Vincent tried to trip off Brianna's TV or song. It was funny or whatever. But she has a nice place. Um, he had a nice place too. It was neat and clean. She was actually pleasantly surprised that it looked neat and everything. But um, so, anyways, um, you know, they do that or whatever, and then they both move into their place, into their spot, um, going over things, you know. And Brianna's just talking about how she knows she's the type of person, you know, be picking up behind people. So I guess she don't want to annoy him. She kind of want to watch herself. I feel like Brianna is watching herself, like she's trying to, I don't know, just trying not to be overbearing or you know, like just make him upset or whatever. Um, so Vincent, you know. I don't know what to say about Vincent. He's cool. You know, they're getting along, you know, moving in or whatever. But then in the end, they have a situation where what happened? He spilled the champagne that had popped or whatever. Champagne Vinny. Champagne Vinny. Like, um, I didn't see a big deal in it. Like, they were just tripping off. Oh, you know, the champagne, trying to clean it up. She said, Vinny of you. He's like, oh, my shirt. She was like, oh, how Vinny of you or whatever. Like, they're just sipping on the bug. Like, I don't know. I didn't see the problem with this. So, I'm confused. Anyways, in the end, Vinny, his mood just changes. She's like, what's wrong? He's like, I'm tired of your smart comments and stuff like what? And so then they get in the van. He's like, well, I'm just tired of your smart comments. You disrespecting me. What was you trying to say when you said Vinny? This, this so Vinny of you. What does all that mean? She's like, I wasn't trying to disrespect you. He's like, you trying to say I'm stupid? I mean, I don't know. Because I'm about, honestly, I don't have time for this immature stuff. So I'm about through with Vincent. So, you go ahead and talk about Vincent because he just went all the way off on me. I'm like, boy, bye. I don't want to say I told you so, but. You did. I, I saw it coming, man. I, I know, you know, like, look, paradise is paradise, man. Like, you know, it's not a lot of stuff that's going to come to the surface in paradise. But looking at the dynamics of their relationship, I saw, number one, he is an entrepreneur. Uh, he is a new entrepreneur, right? So normally entrepreneurs, especially new ones, they, they have, they're tired of, you know, working for somebody else. They're tired of getting clocked. They're tired of being told what to do. He's an entrepreneur now. That's number one. Number two, Brianna is an engineer. Yeah. She is successful. She is very smart and quick witted. She is bossy. That's gonna clash with somebody who's a newly, you know, uh, a newly minted entrepreneur. Right? Number three, I'm not saying Vincent is slow. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying he's not intelligent. Right. I don't think he's on the level of Brianna. Mm. I don't. Yeah. So here's what I've learned in my life in observ observing, you know, highly intelligent people and maybe not so much, you know, not, not as intelligent. Highly intelligent people are not easily, they're not easily offended, to be honest. When they get in situations where somebody's coming at them, like the ones that I've observed, 
they stay cool as a cucumber. Like they just, they're cool and they're just firing back. They're just firing back verbal jabs. They're firing back witty comments. They're, they're, they're reasoning. They're like, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're not easily rattled. If somebody throws a, you know, subtle jab at them, they throw one back. It's easy. People who are not quite as intelligible are easily offended in those situations. They get frustrated. They, you know, they, they get offended. You think you're better than me? You, you, you know, like they can't handle it because they can't match wits. They can't go back and forth. And I saw that and I, I feel like that's what's happening some with Vincent and Brianna. Brianna, she's, she's quick with it. Like, you know what I mean? And, and what I'll say in Brianna's defense is, I think you're right. I think she really is, you know, consciously trying to hold mm. back from being bossy, right. from being, you know, overbearing with him not to disrespect not to disrespect him mm -hmm. but i think that what he's la the reason he's lashing out is rooted in insecurity it's not just the little jabs that she's giving yeah, or whatever I'm not, yeah i'm not seeing it all so yeah because you know how that's so many of you when she asked him can you give me an example i was really hoping that he was going to pull from maybe something that was off camera that we didn't see and he didn't. He he gave the that's so many of you example to which I was like, what? Have you ever dated anyone else in your life? Like, beside you know, like have you ever had another woman in your life other than your mother? Because uh, I don't understand. Because bro, you gonna be a fin and you talking about being with a sister? I'm not. You know, I'm just you gonna get a little bit of sass and a little bit of spice, and I like it. I love it. Okay. Uh, but apparently Vincent can't handle it. So <laughs> it's, it's unfortunate. I don't know. I don't know, man. Right. I, I'm going to be honest. Like we thought they were the, they were the only hope. I think there's, they're going to need some counseling. Uh, they're going to have to talk to Vincent and figure out like where that's rooted in. And I think there's still a chance for them to work, but they're, they're it's going to take some work because he is very sensitive. I think he is insecure about yeah. Brianna earning more than him right now, being more stable than him right now, being the okay. breadwinner right uh, winner right now, and okay. being a little bit more uh, higher on a higher plane intellectually. I think, and uh, that's something they're gonna have to work through. I absolutely agree with you. Um, I mean, Vincent. I just feel like he's immature and he needs to grow up. And honestly, maybe he just can't handle a boss lady. So I don't know if they're gonna work out. Um, I mean, he needs to, you know, step his game up and level up. And I'm not talking about like financially, like come on, like with your feelings and all that, get out of your feelings. And, and you're right, um, you know, he's an entrepreneur and all, that's great in business, yo. Step it up. You know, you're going to have a lot of situations come up. You're going to be fighting, getting mad, going to the corner. Mm, I'm not talking no more. Honey, I'm going to need you to stop. Like, you can't handle it with your wife. I don't know how you handle it in the boardroom. Hey. Okay. And then he just left up out the house in the end. Really? You're going to leave up at the house? Boy, bye. It's a couch out there. It's another bedroom. Bye. I don't have tolerance for that immaturity. I don't have tolerance for it. So, honestly... I think, I really have no hope for them. I thought they were the only hope. I have no more hope for them. I'm done with this. He's going to have to show me something else. He's going to have to turn around. And I don't want Brianna, I don't even want her to dial it back and step it down for him. I don't want that. Stay who you are, girl. Stay who you are. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's a good point that you made about the, the business thing, though, because that's true. Like, as an entrepreneur, you're going to have to have really thick, tough skin. So, you know what I mean? And I know some, you know, it's a little different between what you're expecting from the business world and what you're expecting from your wife, but still, mm -hmm. you gotta be a little bit more thick skinned than that. Um, but yeah, I, I won't say I don't have any hope for them, but uh, what I will say is that I, this is another example that I've been doing it wrong, okay? I, I need to be more like Vincent. Good because you you know you give me way more sass than that on a daily basis. You need and to be way more like Vince. I need to be more like. Oh, Vincent. okay. So you're trying to see me do these videos disrespect. by myself. I'm expecting. No, see, no, this right no, here. no. This right here. Y'all want me to do videos feel, by myself because I, I, he tripping. He I feel tripping. Di I feel disrespected right now. Negative. Okay? I feel disrespected. Negative. You need. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm, you know what? I can just you, go. Oh, you, I can you just out? go back to the room. You out? I can just go. You out. <laughs> 
So moving on to the next couple in Virginia. <laughs> so Eric and Virginia, they move in together for the honeymoon. They're pretty excited. They're happy to be home, be with each other. I mean, you know, they're still kind of cloud nining, you know. Um, you can tell they're having a good time. Um, so they move in and then Virginia, I don't know, Virginia still, I, okay, I don't even know why this is a conversation. She's talking about, yeah, you gonna be okay when I need my me time and stuff. I was like, a long time. There's nothing wrong with that, but I'm like, he gone, what, three or four days out of the week? You were going to get your time. Like, I didn't even understand why that was a discussion. His, that's how he works. She's, she's going to get the long time, whether or not she wants it. So I was confused by that. I was kind of like, okay, Virginia. Uh, anyways, they do talk with Pastor Kyle. And uh, boy, Pastor Kyle, he just hit it. He hit it. I mean, they were saying everything was good, but then she talked about, Eric might not be comfortable with me with male friends. She said, I just, I have two, excuse me, I have two good friends and when I get drunk and whatever, I just pass out on that couch and that's just like, that was regular for her. That's what she do. Like, I'm just like, you know, this is what I do. Don't be surprised. Mm -mm. Virginia. Not only no, but hell no. Yeah. I'm you, sorry. You don't, I mean, Eric has already broke it down. Pastor Cal had to break it down. Girl, no, you a wife now. No. <laughs> I'm like, I'm I'm appalled at at, at, at just how what she's saying. <laughs> how dare you? How dare you? As a married woman, uh -huh. you think that you're just gonna be kicking it with the bros okay. and just pass out on the couch at their house. And you're my wife? No, that's not how this works at all, Virginia. <sighs> she, like, just a fundamental misunderstanding about what marriage is. And that's yeah. what Eric's trying to say. He keeps talking about, you know, I've kind of been in a marriage type situation before. I kind of know what it entails a little bit. And I feel like she doesn't quite know. She thinks it's just gonna yeah. be like a girlfriend type thing. I'm here to tell you right now, my girlfriend better not be passing out on the couch at two other dude, uh, another dude's house. I'm sorry. That's just, <laughs> that's not even acceptable behavior for a girlfriend to me, much, much less a wife. Yeah. You're supposed to be eventually the mother of my children. And you think this is still what you're going to do to think that you're, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, no, nah, I'm good with it. Cause Pastor Kyle, he handled it for me. Like I'm good with it. Cause she wasn't getting it from Eric. She wasn't getting it. She was still kind of like on another wavelength. I don't know. So like Pastor Kyle, he handled it. And I was like, yes, yeah, I, I think she needed another man to handle that. I don't know. But I don't know if she got it still. But I mean, I like the way he handled it. He just let her know, no, like as a man, my wife, you know, as a husband, no, nobody's feeling it. Nobody's looking for that. So, I don't know, I think Eric, uh, <laughs> Eric was just chilling, but I'm sure he felt validated, he felt good. 100%, I'm so glad Pastor Kyle <laughs> got, he handled that. tried to toss some sense into it. Yeah. So yeah, that was it for that. Well, y'all know we'll be here, so stick with us every week. And once again, make sure to smash <laughs> that subscribe button right. and hit the bell so you get post notifications so you know whenever we drop new content. Give us a like and hop in the comments. Give us your power rankings. What do you think about Chris and Paige? What do you think about uh, uh, Erica and Virginia? Tell us who you think has a chance. We'd love to hear from you. Other than that, we will see you guys next week.